Oh, hello. Um, yeah, that's today, isn't it? The white toe thing. Um, yeah, Nigel asked me to put something together on digital literacies. I should go and do that now. So pretty much everything we do nowadays has got something to do with the digital world, the digital realm. You don't have to just love digital devices to use them pretty much all the time. So for example, um, my phone has got a digital display on. I have to understand the menu system to deal with that. Um, that's just a normal standard phone. And then I've got a, a touchscreen PC in my kitchen. Well, okay, not everyone's got a touchscreen PC in their kitchen, but why have I got that? Well, because it's easy to access recipes and music um, and see what the weather is and everything like that to keep up with it with the rest of my family as well through social networks and stuff. So almost everything we use today has got some kind of digital element in it. And you don't have to be a complete geek to want to be digitally literate. I mentioned digital literacy there, but what I really mean are digital literacies. Because, for example, messing about with an iPad is different from using a television, is different from using other devices as well. So it's always a, t a particular literacy, you're doing something for a particular purpose. Um, and to my mind, that's where you start when you're getting started with digital literacies. So to my mind, just start with something that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be a BLE or something like that. Just start with an e-book reader, for example. Now this particular one, I like rather than the Kindle because it's got, um, you can put SD cards into it. And I like that, but I had to understand at one point in my life what you do when you put a, an SD card in, what that means, and how you navigate the menus, and how it connects other things, and how to set my Wi-Fi network. Find something that you're interested in and just go from there. So at the end of the day, digital literacies aren't something that are clean and polished and nicely packaged up that you have to just learn and imbibe. They're something which come from within you, something which is based on interest and things that you enjoy doing. So go out there and find something that you enjoy that's digital and just learn how to use it, mess about with it, tinker with it and find someone else to, to help learn with you. Or even better, teach them because the best way to learn stuff is to teach other people how to use it.